It is 614 now in the morning business report. Could it be a sign? Gasoline prices are down ever so slightly after hitting a record high last week. That's right. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with what this means for our wallets. Good morning. Hi, Wendell and Irene. Good morning to you. Well, at least they didn't go up. They went down just a little bit, uh, edged lower over the weekend after reaching all-time highs on Friday. So retail gas prices fell on Sunday to 4.32 a gallon. The record on Friday that we hit was 4.33. So a drop of a penny. Triple A says the gas price in Hartford right now 4.46 a gallon. It was also down a penny over the weekend. Well, legal wagering on March Madness could jump to as much as three billion this year if regulated U.S. sports books, according to Play USA. Say that would triple the nearly one billion in NCAA tournament wagering that happened last year, which was actually the most bet on sporting event in U.S. history. And Ford will ship and sell Explore SUVs with missing computer chips. Automotive News reports vehicles will come without rear heating and air conditioning controls. Ford is doing this as a way to bring the Explorers to customers faster, and the change is only temporary. Well, the Dow fell for a fifth straight week last week, down 230 points on Friday. So the S&P 500 down about 12% this year. The Nasdaq's off nearly 18%. Looks strong this morning, though. So with the Dow pointing to about a 350-point gain at the open. Live from the Nasdaq market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you.